what do you think about that fight with Connor and Poirier? Do you think uh, it's going to be a different fight than before? The Poirier that's fighting Connor now compared to the dude a couple of years ago, that that's a different fighter. He's he's really locked it in. He's really come into his own. He's another guy who's come into his own. You know, in a sense, like he's like a journeyman. You know that, and that's one of the things that 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 Connor always said. Oh, you know, he's a journeyman, but. You know, so so is Moss Vidal, but they've had this resurgence. Both of them have had a, had a resurgence, and I think it's going to be a I think it's going to be a different fight. Absolutely, yeah, it'll definitely be a good fight. Um, and I lean towards Poirier this time. Yeah, um, I, I lean towards him, maybe like sixty forty. Um, just you know, the fact he's more active and Poirier knows what it's like to win and lose. I think he's found his rhythm a lot better. Poirier knows a lot better now who he is. He's more confident. He's more comfortable in there. And I, I think if he gets ahead of Connor in the fight, that's what's going to really uh, be a problem for Connor to come back. Yeah. You know, if if he if if he just gets ahead a little bit, you know, get, gets a few points racked up, and then Connor's. You know, he's going to be questioning himself, whereas Poirier could come down, get down a little bit, and he's going to keep fighting on. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and that's all speculation, but um, that's what I what I see. I'm really excited about it, man. I, I love uh, I love a good rematch, you know, especially with two tw uh, quality guys. You know, Dustin paid for that fight once, you know, and, and, and he's done a lot since. And, you know, let's see what he does. I'm, exci I'm, I'm excited to see that matchup. I'm excited to see if he can come out and adjust. Because I always feel like if, if Aldo had that rematch, maybe he comes out a little bit more patient, maybe he starts leg kicking. Right. Maybe, you know, he he, he, he f***ed up, right? He went yeah. in there, he went for the big shot, got caught. Yeah. Uh, not, can, would that happen <laughs> again? Let's find out. Let's find out. I'm, I'm excited for that one. But I, I think it'll be a better fight. I think it'll be a little bit... Um, I think Dustin plays a little safer in the beginning uh, and, and tries to kind of get him later in the round, especially since, you know, it looks like Connor Gass is later and Dustin turns it up. But uh, I think he's going to come out a little bit more safer in the beginning and cautious. And I think it'll be a good fight, uh, a closer fight. Dustin's moved up quite a bit. He's gotten better on the striking, better everything all the way around. But so has Connor. So I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking when we see some of the same of last time, just someone is just being of a striker that good of a precision striker unless unless he loses it you know but if he stays on track the way i've seen him uh, i see the same thing that happened last time maybe a little harder but but uh you know uh if 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 he stays sharp like i've seen him um precision striking unless you unless he can be taken down he can be taken down. That's a whole different story. But Dustin is not known to be a takedown artist. So uh, anything's possible because they're both some of the best ever. Yeah. Um, but I, I favor Connor uh, because of the, of the precision striking. He, he's he's the best best striker in the lightweight division uh, history, and he might very well be one of the best strikers in all MMA history.